So let's examine the following example that deals with resistors placed into an electric circuit. So three resistors are connected to an electric circuit with a voltage difference given by 120 volts as shown. So we have a 50 ohm resistor, a 100 ohm resistor and a 60 ohm resistor that are placed into our electric circuit as shown. We want to calculate the electric current that passes through each one of these resistors. So we're going to break our problem down into two steps. In the first step, we want to calculate the equivalent resistance that will replace these three resistors. Then we want to use that in step two to calculate the total electric current and we can use that to then calculate the individual current that passes through each one of these resistors. So let's begin with step one. We want to find the equivalent resistance. So let's begin by calculating the resistance that will replace these two resistors that are placed in parallel with respect to one another. So we want to combine the 50 ohm and the 100 ohm resistors. So, we can do it by simply using this equation. 1 divided by R, where R is the resistance of these two combined resistors, is equal to 1 divided by 50 ohms plus 1 divided by 100 ohms, and that gives us 3 divided by 100 ohms, and that implies that R is equal to 100 divided by 3, which is approximately equal to 33.3 .3 ohms. So now in the second step of this step, we essentially want to now combine this resistor and the 60 ohm resistor, which are placed in series with respect to one another. So now to find the equivalent resistance that will replace these three resistors, we simply take the algebraic sum of 60 ohm resistor and this resistor. So. 33.3 .3 ohms plus 60 ohms gives us 96 or 93.3 .3 ohms. So now in the second step, we want to calculate the total electric current found in our electric circuit. So we use Ohm's law. The voltage across our battery is equal to the product of the total electric current given by I multiplied by the equivalent resistance. So we solve for I, I is equal to the voltage of 120 volts divided by the equivalent resistance of 93.3 ohms gives us about 1.286 amps is our total electric current. So now we want to use the total electric current to calculate the voltage across this battery or this resistor and then find the voltage across these two resistors. So to calculate the voltage across this resistor, we have to realize that the electric current through this resistor is the same exact as this quantity. So our total I is equal to the I that flows through the 60 ohm resistor. So that implies that the voltage across this 60 ohm resistor is equal to I60 multiplied by R60, where I60 is this quantity and R60 is simply 60 ohms. So 60 ohms multiplied by 1.286 amps gives us a voltage of 77.16 volts. Now to calculate the voltage across these two resistors, we simply take 120 volts and subtract 78 or subtract 77.16 volts and that gives us 42.84 volts. So because these two resistors are in parallel, the voltage across both of them are exactly the same. So it's equal to 42.84 volts. So now we want to calculate what the current is that flows through this resistor and that flows through this resistor. So we essentially apply Ohm's law. So 
the electric current through the 50 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage across that resistor divided by the resistance. So 42.84 volts divided by 50 ohms gives us about 0.857 amps and this is the electric current flowing through the 50 ohm resistor. So now to calculate the electric current through the 100 ohm resistor, we apply this equation. Our electric current through the 100 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage across that resistor, 42.84 volts, divided by the resistance of 100 ohms gives us about 0.428 amps. This is the electric current that flows through the 100 ohm resistor. So once again, the electric current begins at the positive end of our battery, begins flowing through this section, and so the total electric current in our electric circuit is equal to the electric current that flows through the 60 ohm resistor given by this quantity. Then when this quantity reaches this intersection, it splits into two different parts. Some of that electric current flows through this resistor and the rest flows through this lower resistor. So that means this gets a quantity of 0.857 amps and this resistor gets a quantity of 0. 428 amps.